of any disease. Because you are our buckler. You are our fortress. You are our refuge. You build yourself around the bar house just as mountains surround Jerusalem. Grant then that which, O oh God, they seek of you. Put your spirit upon them to serve you. Restrain them from that which, O oh God, I give you not glory. Let them harbor that which that is evil. And your spirit, O oh God, to cleave to that which that is good. So that when we pray like this, you answer immediately. Thank you, Father. Pray for your children. Let them be what God has made them to be. Evil ones will not see those ones the day they are out. Devil can't see them when it's about to share his own blood. Because we are placed on them the mark of Christ. Evil will see them, will depart from them. Only good things will look good them. There are generations that we are trusting to settle this country. So pray for them so that the Spirit of God will reside in them now, not show them so they can stand before kings and governors and speak the truth without fear. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration that do you because we know you answer prayer. We have asked of you about our life and our loved ones and our family. We know you have answered already. Let this which we ask, oh God, let there be testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for heaven has settled it. Earth will manifest it. Eyes will see it. All ear will hear it. To the praise of your glory. In the name of God the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wagumek Momusa not Wagumek Momusa not yemeo. 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 Oh, 
Just one prayer. Say, Lord, I heard a prayer in the beginning of Revelation. Lord, don't let me regret why I trust you. Am I talking to somebody? Say, my father, my father. Father, Don't let me regret why I trust you. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Begin to pray, turn it into prayer. Father, do not let me regret the reason why I trust you. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Father, take away everything that we trust you. Father, take away everything that we trust you. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Do not let me regret believing in you. Father, take you with everything, Lord. I will make me regret believing in you. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Father, do not let me regret. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Do not let me regret the reason. Don't let me regret why I trust you. I have trusted you with my life. I have believed you with my life. Don't let me regret why I trust you. Do not let me regret trusting in you. I put away a lot of things. I destroy a lot of things. I put away a lot of friends. I deleted some numbers. I stopped doing things that once makes me happy. Father, don't let me regret why I trusted you. I put my trust on you. Do not let me regret I regret In Jesus mighty name. There are times you regret why you do something. Many of us are sitting here. We are bad on some kind of things that once makes us happy. Donna was one. Before I know God, the life I once lived once makes me happy. The worldly life I once lived, I don't lack money. Right from the beginning, God gave me my brilliance. Sorry if you should think I praise myself. My intelligence was a gift to me. From childhood, I started teaching my mate from JXX2. The woman is dead now and is seeing me. My father is alive. My mother is alive. I want her once they are here. You know, sometimes your life history is not interesting until you get to some certain level when they begin to say where you are coming from. The life history becomes interesting. You know, when Apostle Suleiman mother was saying how long, over two weeks in labor, and the pastor stepped into a hospital and said to him, will you carry the prophet? Even while he was still in the womb. If the mother had said it that time, it would have been interesting. Praise God. It won't have been interesting. Time would come. When my mother will stand and my father will stand. I said little the body, child they born. My mother just my father said little the day. 
my spiritual mother poured oil on me. You heard that? He said, when he graduated, I gave him a job. He said, no. My father was having a connection as a politician. I had two jobs. My father, younger brother, sent invitation along with me and his wife to Germany. I said, I don't want to travel. All the documents I submitted then about his wife. Today, his wife is in Germany. I'm trying to go somewhere. There are times you regret why you make some certain decision. There are some wife regrets why he married husband. There are times husband regrets why he married wife. There are children you look up to, you will tell God, you would have just leave me without a child and giving me this one. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. There are friends you look up to. I text to one of my doctors. I say, I bless the day I known you. And she returned back to me and said, Daddy, that word is to come from me, not you. We were shouting. Said, Daddy, I just want to say hi to you. And we began to joke. And I replied her. During the joke, I sent her some cartoon. We just played. I replied me. Said, Daddy, you just made my day. I was just alone in my store. And I saw you online. Said, Let me just say hi. I never see you. I've been sending me some funny, funny cartoon. I never knew my daddy will have time for me like this this afternoon since I know you have not had this time for me. Then I now sent him one cap two that was yawning. He said, Daddy, don't worry, lunch is getting ready. I said, then I should send somebody for the lunch. He said, you don't need to send somebody. Lunch will soon come. Not quite long. I received a lot of 5,000. And he replied me. He said, Daddy, has the lunch come? I said, I didn't see the lunch. He said, wait for some seconds. It will come. Not quite long. He sent me a cap two eating. And I turned to my phone. I saw a lot of 5,000. I replied, I said, the lunch has come. And I returned to her. I said, bless the deal. I know you. And what shocked me most is I replied, I said, no, that word is from me. I bless that faithful Friday, that faithful Sunday, you allowed me to see you after calling you for three weeks. Coronavirus, everything, but I keep I bless that faithful Sunday. You allowed me to see you. There are friends. There are doctors. There are Christian members. Pastors cry every day in the night. Say, Lord, why did you even bring this one to this church? Why did you even allow this woman to even know the address of this church? Why did you even allow this man to know the address of this church? Because there are some things... Even when you leave it in your body, it's a problem. When you remove it in your body, the mark of a problem will be there. It will be better in never. I don't even understand. When you leave it in your body, then it will be what? A problem. When you remove it from your body, the mark of that problem will still be there. And the solution to it, it is if you never. But we are going to pray that prayer. That is why I'm reminding you again. There are moments of life you have passed by. Sometimes you begin to regret it. A young woman bought a ticket and came back home. And when he got home, he began to do a little business. A little business grow. Now he's a big woman in New Benin. He was talking to her friend. He I regret going to overseas to waste six years. That is the same overseas many of us cried for. But somebody said, I regret going to this woman was telling her friend that I regret going to Italy, spent six years there. So I was not deported. I woke up one morning. I found out my call is not here. I spent money on native. I spent money on my parents. They don't work. I have even told my mother to even with self. Then that day, I just gather my little things. I come back home. Now, right in Nigeria, I said, I'm building the third house. I said, not my husband, business or house. My personal money, I bought, I'm building the third house. And every day I look back, I just wasted six years. If six years were added to my business, I think I should be building the fourth house. I don't know if I'm talking. He said, right from this place, I paid 
for my younger brother to London. Right from here, I paid for the other one, younger one. To, and while I was there for six years, I couldn't carry one. Am I talking to somebody? For six years, I couldn't carry one. But while I was here, the money is still in my account. A young girl selling in Ted Junction. My wife is here. Call your elder brother, Nigeria doesn't fit you. How much? You look for connection, how much? And he said he sold one, 1.2 million. The next day, the younger sister transferred one million into the younger brother, into the elder brother account. The girl never traveled out. In selling in Ted Junction. The girl is selling in Ted. I am a witness to the money. If that girl is too much, it should be less than 30 years. The other brother keep telling me if they have, I have my other sister in Spain with her children, I have my younger brother, I have the other one, three of them. They couldn't cough out 100,000 for me. But if God, if devil, several angel told me this one would give me one million cash, this one selling Ted Joshua, I would say no. There are decisions you have made, you regret it. There are things I've seen, I've heard a story. If I tell you some little story in I head inside that room, some of you will think it's, it's a lie. Don't worry about it. Time we finish with call. Sitting of revolution, there's going to be camera. Everywhere, when I'm through with some story, I'll say, play it so that you hear it with your ear. What somebody have gone through. A woman was talking to me. As she was talking to me, tears almost run out of my eye. I turned my chair. I said, girl, I will call for you on Friday. Because where she was coming from was too bitter. I just rolled my chair around. I turned back. If you know me, I have a high emotion. My emotions are very high. That is why when you see me, if I'm angry, I'm angry. If I'm touched by you, before I blink my eyes twice, I'm already crying. My emotions are very high. My emotions are very, very high. When your, your pains can touch me to an extent, I will go home. My wife bought a wristwatch for me. I went to a church to preach. I never knew that wristwatch was expensive until she found out I gave it out. The pain, and I was angry that day. A few days later, do you know how much I bought that wristwatch? I went to a church to preach. I was a, after finishing, Preaching, I was about to enter back with a young girl like this. You're wrong to me. He said, I was blessed. Thank you, sir. He said, Your wristwatch is fine. I said, Do you like it? He said, Yes, I just pull it. Take. A few days later, when I dressed, my wife said, Here is your wristwatch. As I gave it to one little girl, I knew she was not happy. It was a few weeks later, she told me, Do you know how much I bought that wristwatch? That's how emotion. How highly my emotions are. Last year, me and my wife got that The rated was with me. Mrs. Jude, guess what? My wife was thinking I transferred the rentage to landlord account. I used the rentage to pay for another member. My wife was thinking I've paid. But the landlord now called me a few, about a month later. Say, Pass it. He told, honey, have you not paid any? And I saw trail, I can't get accident. Now, so the small motor went there inside, I survived the trailer scatter. She just left me in the parlor and went to room. The renters we gathered together to pay for our whole house. I came to church during counseling. Somebody was thrown out. I gave the person 20,000. I left another person, I gave you 28,000. That is how the rentage scatter. And my wife was thinking, we have paid for my, our house was thinking we have paid for our rentage. You are still going to pray that prayer and again. I don't know what you have regret before. I don't know. I told God, I will serve you if you know I hate poverty right from time. That is why I didn't get married on time. I keep saying, I think I was talking to Pastor Jude on Friday. I said, I don't want my child it is poverty for a child to run away from there to the mother. I said, I need egg. 
Jamie, I'm not saying Kawari egg. You are poor, be crying. What is egg? When I visited my auntie in Worry, 2003, I was thinking it was joke. Every morning as he finished breakfast, he boiled eggs and put it in dining. Did you hear me? He boiled eggs and put it in dining. When the children carried their school bag, as they ran inside the city room from school in the afternoon, good afternoon, dad, as they dropped the school bag. You know what I mean? Just pick egg. He's peeling the egg to the bedroom to go and bath. And as that's my daddy's younger sister, Yosma was walking in Chevron. As he's come back from school, dropped the school bag. The next thing he picked from the dining, he picked as the other one is coming. He picked that is how they would skip. Because it was an instruction. The father said, Make sure you must eat no less than one or two eggs a day. A child below 10 years must not mix. One or two eggs a day. Eggs build brain. The baby food you are eating, it contains much of egg, the yolk. That is why the foreign food are more expensive. That is why you see baby eating it, they become their brains. Their brains. One of my auntie Osman Kenneth Mume is the chief news editor. If he drive into the compound and find out any of the child did not eat egg a day, he will start beating the child. But Suzanne, I will come grow. Even while I was in junior secondary school, I will see buy egg, he will hide. I must want the egg that time, 10 era. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. We will see buy egg. I must know that way. I want to remember. By egg. That is talking. Ask me in by the egg. Rudunwe, Rudunwe, and Dewe, Kuro, Nibbe, Joshon. In my bar, you can be a total for over two weeks. And it comes to you know how rich a fish is for children. How rich fish to scatter it on plates for them to eat. How rich it is for children. That was a life I'm coming from that I never, it was because of that I was afraid to marry, to even give Gebele. I never want my child to suffer. I never wanted it. That is why anytime I see children look tactile, I hate their parents. Because I want to see children look good. I was ready to pray that prayer one more time. What decision have I taken that I regretted before Father correct it now? And help me not to ever regret anything. Nothing is worse than regretting a past decision. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I don't want to regret why I serve you. I, want to regret I don't want to regret why, why I left my old life. I want to regret why Begin I to pray. Turn it to prayer. Don't I left old life. I don't want to regret why I left old life. I don't want to regret it. Show me my passion. Show me my passion of my inheritance. Don't let me regret why I serve you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Now you are going to pray this one lastly. Father, don't let me be a regret to people I have met. Did you see that prayer? Don't let me be a regret to people I have worked for. I might talk to somebody. I have meant to you. I have met me. Don't let Pastor Donna go and sit down and say, Lord, why did you even bring this person to this church? If I all leave me and Papa Samuel and Susan, only three or four hours, just okay. When people you met regret why they met you, they can't connect you to another person. When people you work for regret why they gave you work, they can't introduce you. If John the Baptist has regretted why he followed God, he would have introduced Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? But John the Baptist see the power of God, so he was proud to introduce Jesus. You're going to pray this, a prayer you pray for yourself. 
So many of you now, your husbands are regretting why they married you. Your wives are regretting why she married you. Pray this prayer for restoration. Stay. Say, oh Lord, my God. Lord, my God. Don't let me be a regret. Let me be a to people I have come in contact with. The people I have come to the rapper. Don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a to regret. those that will help me. To those, to those help I have come in contact those with. Those Don't let me be a regret. To them, oh Lord. Begin to pray, 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 pray. He get a zula bada gada la bada bada ba. He got that 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 na kata parate seke palaba. Don't let me be a regret to Apostle Johnson Sulema. Don't let me be a regret to Bishop Kisle na Hirere. Don't let me be a regret to great men of God I have opportunity to meet. Don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a regret to God. There are many God regretted giving them anointing. Don't let me be a regret. As an usher, don't let me be a regret in this church. As a choir, don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a regret to my helpers. Don't let me be a regret to my helper. Those that will help me, don't let their regrets know me. Those that will change my life, don't let them. 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 Pray. This one is greater than kill your enemy. If you are a regret to your helper, you are gone. Don't let me be a regret. Don't let my brother first start gentle. Leonard, don't let them be a regret to their helpers. So companies are regretting why they are blessed on people. Don't let me be a regret. 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 Don't let me be a regret to people. People that will help me, don't let their regrets know in me. Don't let them regret about Yabozuz. Don't let me be a regret to those that have helped me. To those that have once been there for me. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your right hands as a sign of surrender to God. Jehovah El Shaddai. Don't let me be a regret to my helper. Those that have taken a decision to help me, don't let them regret it. Those that have vowed to be a helper to me, Lord, don't let me be their regret. Those that have made a promise of helping me, don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a regret. Don't let me be a regret. Even to you, God, don't regret calling me your child. Don't regret calling me your child. Don't let me be a regret to you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Anoint my lips and let your word be a healing. In Jesus' name. Sit down. God bless you. This week, pray that prayer throughout. Pray that prayer. Listen to my message this morning is a key message you need to know. That is what we are dwelling on this week. Abundant grace. Abundant grace, say let. You know, even when we prayed on Friday, and the Lord said there is promotion. Many of you, I don't need to even ask you how many of you go and watch it. Is life. I was saying the other night, I told them, the Lord said there is promotion. Promotion just take place. Be prayerful that we have God here. We have God here. I think for these three years, for these three years, I've never seen a thing otherwise we take place. I've never, I've never. For me to say it, I'll pray for you, go. If I hear it from God, I'm not afraid to say it with boldness. If I hear it from God. I don't shake to say it with boldness. When the call came, you heard my wife, the testimony. I woke up that morning, I just prayed, and I said to him, I said, your dad, that was around October, about November. I said, they will soon promote your dad. Promotion is coming. We forgot about it. 
On Friday, the Lord said to me, the promotion is done. And we said it here like sub-promotion. Even in the all night, I think Mrs. Jude was in the all night. He said, the Lord just showed me promotion. It just takes place. And there is still one more promotion ahead. Somebody else will still share that testimony of promotion. Promotion in business. Promotion in endeavor. Because when God speaks, he confirm me with two or three. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says, I told the mount of two or three. That is a prayer. If you want to fast, fast. This is a month of reward. Remember the Lord during the prophecy of the year. Maybe I will read all the prophecy of the year to you again. The Lord said this year is a year of reward. And he speak to me and he said, my son, February and March is a month of reward. And he's telling you this morning to pray that you will not be a regret. So many people, I will preach on that on Friday and on Sunday. That is not my message. So many people have vowed to help you, but suddenly they are regretting making that vow. Why? Something else happens. The young man promised his sister. He said, don't worry, I don't know what to do for you. But the moment I go back to London, I, I, I will, if I resume work, I will send invitation to your senior son. And I will make sure you carry the other one. So at least sister, that will still settle you. And sister was happy. The young man left to London. He got to London in his own wolf. A few weeks later, the sister was fighting her, fighting him in a dream. You all think it's a normal dream. The dream repeated itself almost three times. And while he was got into the office, got to work, something else happened. They suspended him. I think what he dreamed, he began to believe it little by little. He lost the job. After some months, he couldn't get a job in London. No, before he lost the job, he has already sent the invitation to his brother. And guess what? After he lost the job, he was still possessing the invitation. He needed to sign for a document which is his house address. And he promised to go tomorrow. And the night before that day, the mother of the boy appeared to the man. I will kill you if you don't leave my children alone. What you have seen now is not enough for you. He wake up, he tell his wife. And the wife says, since we sent the invitation, you lost your job. Things have changed. Within that week, he went to just like that glow or uh, empty air. He changed his line. Change everything about him. And the sister was crying. Who was still doing it? When they were in Palo, another of his sister that here, that what will I do for senior sister now? He went and carried the face of the sister to torment them. And he spoiled everything. To that man, he regrets making a vow to his sister. You see a news that is going on now in uh, Sabogidaura. A young man has been in America for long. He came to Nigeria. He came to his village. They carried canopy, they cooked, they eat, they celebrated. And he asked the king he needed a land for a company. He was going back to Lagos. They kidnapped him. In the process, the young man died. Just last week here. That was not why I'm saying that. A friend of him posted in, in, in Facebook. He said, the mistake you make is going to Nigeria. Is it a mistake to go to your father's land? You will, I, I will teach him all about that. When Peter looked back to who he was and who he became following Jesus... Regrets began to start in his life and he moved to Jesus. He said, Jesus, you knew I am. Because Jesus to Peter is a little boy to Peter. And Jesus asked him, yes, I know. He said, now I abandon all these things. 
What is my gain? Before somebody asks what is my gain, you know you have started regretting something. Am I preaching this morning? Where is my Sonia, Mama Sonia? If it's not finished, why you bring it to me? Mr. Morrow, I will use the remaining children to play with you. You know I love Sonia. The remaining children, I will use it to play with you and your wife. The remaining children. I said you want me to, to be angry or not to even like you and your I can because of Sonia not to like you and your wife. If you like, you buy all my jeep of 10 million for me. You know how much? When your son did not come to church for over three weeks, did I ask of, her, of him? Not that I don't love him. You know, Mama Sonia, I don't play with Sonia, not even with you. Not even with you, I don't play with that girl. Praise God. There are a lot of decisions we make. My spiritual father raised up a friend together. He did passport for that friend. He took him to a different Europe country. He took that friend to an extent. He gave his own daughter he raised up to him as a wife. You understand what I mean? Just like Sonia now. I know very soon going to be living in my house. The girl was but Suleiman take the girl as a daughter so strong he asked the girl come to my house the girl was living with Suleiman he went to university in Suleiman's house and this young boy this young boy was a son to Suleiman they were so close to an excellent cell I will give you this my daughter imagine a child Suleiman raised up he gave it to this man Suleiman took this man to different Europe countries, to America. Did everything for him. But when he gets to some certain level, let me tell you, no matter what you know, you never know more than your pastor or your master. Let me not your pastor, your master. The moment you think you know more than your master, you are dying. Any master that teach you hairdressing, there is something he can never teach you. If you like, discover a new style that your mother never do. When you were in a store, you never know more than her. God has made her your mother. You never. The problem between devil and God, familiarity was the problem. The way God so much loved devil, he was giving devil more rooms. He was giving devil more opportunity that even other angels, I can born and come and try Lucifer. Lucifer is like you ask me, is the most beautiful name. You know the meaning of Lucifer? The bright morning star. God loves Lucifer to an instance. He named him the bright morning star. But Suleiman was talking a few days ago, almost crying. He said, go and check my record 10 years ago. Any ministration, she is with me. It means he raised her up as a doctor. And he gave a doctor to a son. Not quite long, the son began to maltreat the doctor. Even a pastor for that matter. Began to misbehave. He so much misbehaved to an extent he think he knows Suleiman. Because you can't follow a rich pastor, you are not rich. The guy was okay driving good cars, living in good house, pastoring big church in Omega. He began to challenge the anointing and began to step on other people's toes. And Suleiman suspended him. He never went for apology. He moved to Abuja because the little money in his account was shocking him. He was on that suspension as if that was not enough. The wife came crying before the father. The mother came. He couldn't see Suleiman. And he heard that Suleiman is in the airport driving. The mother went to Suleiman, kneeled down in the airport. Please forgive your son. 
But the little son was still looking at the little million and the little color has he have. As if that was not enough, he began to maltreat his wife. So devilish. He went to his wife. Marriage has two certificates. When you registered in customary, they will give you one that you will take back to the church. The church will used to give you a original certificate. They did their wedding two weeks later. There is no evil man suddenly. Every man has an evil seed in him. Now when he take manifest and now you take Noah. He has never been who he is. Am I talking to somebody? Nobody starts instantly. No. No member your start to the square pastor don't have name instantly. No. Even from the first day he entered that has been him. He has been looking for a way to start spoiling. The Bible says you are not a sinner except you have the nature of sin. I, I you study that place in the Bible. He said a sin is a nature. That is why the Bible tells you when you fall into sin, you can come back because the nature of sin is not in you. You only fall into sin. Am I? But when the nature of sin is in you, you don't fall into sin, you live in sin. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. When the nature of lies, when the nature of pork nokes, when the nature of ta -ta 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 is in you, you don't mistakenly do it. It's your job. You can even gossip your child. Oh, even in what meaning? What meaning? No, I think it's a big break. Now, I not your work. Who is the gossip? So, your child. That person does not make mistake in gossiping him. The spirit and the nature of gossip is in him. Am I talking to somebody? That is who that young man walks. So let me, you have somebody you have been with for 16 years. He raised up your, you say he took away that doctor away from the parents. I think when he was less than 14, he began to live with Solomon, finished second year with Joseph Suleiman, began to live with him, finished secondary school, go to university, he was still staying with me. It was not a personal protocol to him. Who will I give this my precious doctor to in marriage so that? And he looked at his son, he gave it to him. They did marriage because of excitement and surprises. She could not return the one of court on time. A week later, this marriage is about 12 years now. A week later in that marriage, the husband said, just give me the paper, let me go and submit it in the court. Let me go and help you submit it to the local government. A few days later, he came back. He said, ah, the paper lost. I think a week or a month marriage, I see honeymoon. You say, ah, why were you careless with such uh, paper? That ended. Few months later, or eight months, or some few months later, it came back. The one Omega Fire still gave to them the original one that is now left with the woman. He said, give me, I want to fill a form in embassy for travel. The woman still gave to the man. Few months later, I said, honey, that's a ticket he did return. He said, that is what I'm looking for, and that one still lost. At that point, the woman has no legal documents over the marriage. So every property they had in that marriage, the woman had no legal documents. And the woman, your feet is a pastor. I'm a pastor. And the woman still forgive you. Just, are you getting what I'm saying? And when you now misbehave before Pastor Joseph Suleiman. Place him on suspension. He began to misbehave to his wife. Suddenly he said to his wife, he don't want the marriage again. And the wife was crying, begging. Begging, nagging. And the last begging that provoked Joseph Suleiman. He went home to the wife family and collect bright price that he doesn't want again. The wife said, I knelt down and was crying. You know, I'm a pastor. It will bring a stain to my father. That a daughter he raised up in his house. That is why I will not play with Sonia with the mother. Because of tomorrow. He said, I need that I crawl with my husband to the car. But yet he took the bright prize. He left. He has taken the bright prize, the traditional legality. He has taught the full certificate. The customary 
legal. It means all the property they had that time, the woman can't place hands in any of them. And he said to the woman while she was crying, he said, you will eat in a gutter. That was the statement Apostle Joseph Suleiman had. He said, not my daughter. Though he was angry. Because during those process, the daughter never come to report to the father. Papa was not angry. What's a responsible child? I don't want to complain my husband in my church tomorrow. If I complain him now, I have insulted him. What about if you change tomorrow? Devil will never change. My dear daughter, if you are passing through it, complain your time to me. When I pray, I will know if that your husband is the devil. If he's the one that will change. Don't hide. Don't think you are, don't think you are degrading your husband before your spiritual father. But don't go to your parents. Come to me first. So that we ask God, you and I will hold our hand and ask God. If he's the one that will not change, we will know how to hold our background. If the lady knows, he will have known how to hold. He will have provided a certificate. If I go for Jane. Am I talking to somebody? Because if the lady never complained, Papa was angry. And Dr. Lizzie Suleiman called his husband at midnight, said this is a child we invested home. And one man from nowhere said she will crawl in the gutter. Said no. Take your daughter back home. To cut the long story short. Suleiman called her. After the divorce, taking the bride, bride, fear not let the woman come and meet his father. Say, come and come and she come and see me. Came to the house, she changed his life, give him millions. Take him back to one of the biggest Omega church in Abuja. Say, go ahead it. And after that present, as we speak, even before this crisis, in the car she drives worth over seven million. The same woman, he said, he will crawl in the gutter. You know, a prodigal son never have a wisdom to protect possession. I think when she has, he has, be careful, your wife might be your major bone. You might not know till you toy with her. I believe for two, three years, he never asked of the children. I believe he has squandered what he think is million in the account. I believe what he think he has achieved can turn his life. I believe the anointing he felt he have taken that can turn his ministry. It doesn't work in three years. And the idiots returned back to social media and started crying that Justice Suleiman slept with his wife. They should tell Justice Suleiman to leave his wife for him. Does he still have a wife? You tore the certificate, you took the bright price, and you still have mouth. And why the information came out last week, Thursday, John Suleiman was in Gambia preaching in a crusade. You know why Donald God will punish some people? John Suleiman was out there doing the father's work and you are in one corner gossiping him. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Jesus is happy. My son is working for me. And you are in one room. Don't mind Donald, you have to jump up and down. Maybe this morning when you were gossiping me, I entered motor from NY Church and started preaching. And a woman talked to me. Say, God will bless you, my son. A two person paid for me this morning. And maybe you yourself, your day, your heart, they gossip. And I go nap, and then I go say, if I go church, you they gossip me. I'm already doing God of God's work from NY Josh on to here. Suleiman was in Gambia in crusade. The young boy was in social media. How do you think that will work? Am I talking to somebody? How do you think that? Maybe the night you wake up, you and your family begin to gossip Donald. And Donald woke up since 10 minutes after 12, 10, 4 o'clock. 10 minutes. You see it in my eye. You see it in my voice. I woke up 10 minutes after 12, 10, 4 o'clock. And maybe you and your husband like that for bed. You be gossiping somebody that is doing liquor, pata, natala. That means you are among the enemy I'm killing. Am I talking to somebody? That means you are among the enemy. I'm just killing. What am I trying to tell you? Papa spoke yesterday. He said, I raise you up. 
I raise her up. Even when she can see bait in my presence. Have I stood so low to not start sleeping with my doctor? You know, there are spiritual daughter. This one. He said, a girl that spent over, over 10 years in my house. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. A young girl that spent over 10 years in my house. She got married from my house. The jeep that took her to your marriage ground was my jeep. You are looking for somebody to cover up your laziness. You begin to shift blame. A lazy people, a poor mind shifts blame always. Now tell me me. A lazy people shift blame. A vision dead human brain shifts blame. Wake up. I've never started any business in my life with the help of my family. I might be in the business, they might support me, but I've never started it. I don't know if you got, I don't want you to get me wrong. Some of my family are following me. I've never started any business with the help of my, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I might be inside. My auntie might send me 50,000, but say I sit down for us, he can't give me 50,000, I can't use a start. I have never Donald, I've never. I sold my Motorola phone to rent a house that I started lecture from. It was my first business. My fiancé then was in France. The moment I graduated 2004, when I mean Motorola Blade, those of you, it's only the young, we should know when that phone came out. It was the first phone. When I claim it, I said, when I opened the phone, you know I said, Motorola Blade. I think as at that time, 2005, September, I sold that for about 27,000. Those of you, you should know Motorola Play when it come out. It's black. It was a really model phone. She brought it. I sold it to rent a hall that I started a lecture house. And the lecture boom. All business I have started, I have done. Even this school. Lecture. Company that have opened. None of my family relatives have given me money to start it. I didn't say they have not sent me money. I don't want to, if you want me to use Bini so that you understand it better. Am I talking to somebody? You know, some people don't really understand English. There's no between helping me or starting for, for me. Am I talking to somebody? None of my family member error. That you need the eighty thousand dollar you are most turn us with the business lie lie. I will start, and when they see my father look, I bought to I bought two thousand eighteen. My father gave me seven hundred thousand when I lost five point five million. That was what brought me and my father so close, and he said it in front of my wife. He said my son has been a strong old boy. He has never gave up. My wife is there. Say he has never given up. Me and my father, right from time, we were not that tight. Our relationship started that 2018 December. Few weeks later, he came to Benin. He said, You are going to prosper. If there is any forces that are spoiling your business, before your father take that decision, he was coming from village. He sat here with 500,000. He said, Take, pay those that are worrying you now. Few days later, I sent ATM to my younger sister. Few days later, send money. But one statement he said, say he has never given up. I, I was shocked for my father to say, and my mother was crying, I was crying, my wife was crying in the palo. My younger sister was there. He said, I've always watched him. When this one closed, he will start this one. When this one closed, he will start this one. Osare team, my son has never given up. But for Dix, you won't be poor, my son. From that day till today, I call my father and I put it on speaker. I say, my son, 
when I received a tap a few months ago, he called me on phone. He said, don't worry, you won't die before me. I have said it. You will bury me. I don't care to know where the witch or where the devil. He said it to my wife. He said, my son, leave him. He will bury me. I began to feel the love of a father. When he saw me, he came early when he saw me. He said to me, my son, don't cry. You will bury me. If they went to the coven, I will go there. If they went to the devil himself, I will, you will bury me. That was the word he keeps saying. You know when a man keep, he was ready to go any miles. He was even ready during that attack in December to dine with the devil. If it is the devil that he, my father needed for donuts to be alive, my father was ready to die with the devil. He said, you will bury me. What am I trying to say? John Suleiman, I saw the pain in him. Regretting a boy he raised up. Let me tell you, before I give you four points, I will pray and go home. Never you try to erase a man that raised you up. Never you try the meaning of erase me to clean. Never you try to clean the name of a man that gives you a name. Never you try to erase a man that raised you up. Never you try to erase a woman that raised you up. Never you try. Listen to this theory word. Never you speak on a man that hold a ladder for you to climb. Am I talking to somebody? Never when you get to the top, don't speak on a man that hold a ladder for you to climb. How many things have I told you? Two. As I want to tell you three things. Number one, don't try to erase a man that raised you up. Don't try to erase the man name that gives you new name. Don't try to thank the man name that gives you value for your name. Don't try to spread the name of somebody that made people not respect your name. That is number one. Number two, when you climb up, sir, don't speak on a man that hold the ladder for you to climb up. Una yoduhu na soduhu. Etwa se nyama noroto. No dukbala kanu hi yoduhu. Number three. Never you become a problem. To a man that give you emblem. What is emblem? A... Emblem me high. Emblem me high value. Never you become a problem. To a man that give you emblem. A man that gives you emblem, don't become a problem to him. Emblem me a new level. These three things, right? These are one of the things I realized a few years ago. I went to my spiritual mother. The first day I went, Tony went with me. I lie down, roll on the ground before her, and he looked at me, he put his hand on me, said, Get up. I never offended my spiritual mother for 13 years. She said it here. I never, I never. She said, she said, this has been a disgrace. Well, this has been what you have been laboring, crying for. I like that. Why? I started preaching in our altar. Today I have my altar. I won't allow any quarrel for me not to humble her. That is the meaning of the third one. A man that hold a ladder for me. To go up. Even when he offend you, don't spit on him. Oh, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know why I'm talking like this because this was not my message. So many of you, your wife hold a ladder so strong. Even he pants can't they fall from waist. Now you climb up. That's spitting on her. Because when you climb up, there are people you will meet up. Now you climb up, you now meet some gags up. You are not spitting on your wife. Instead of you to climb up 
and stretch your hands. You know, though that is up, you can hold something and stretch your hand to your wife and draw him up. Yet, what did you do? When you climb up, you spit on him, you pick a lady you met on the up. Are you an husband? Are you a wife also? Now your business, your husband take a risk for the business. Now you are your business is doing well as a wife. For you to look back, I've seen a woman look back to her husband and say, Daddy, I have some money and I saved. It's high time you started driving a car. If that's a woman or odd, you go buy a whole car. He bought the car with the man name, said be driving. I've seen it. Because the woman business. I've seen a woman in the third Joshua. The business was doing well, doing well. He said to her husband, why not resign from this bank work and come and join me? That is a woman drawing the husband when he got up. Am I talking to somebody? The husband was working in a bank. He said, are you not tired of this 160000 salary that I can make in, a, in, a, in a just a call? Come. Let's do the business. The husband resigned. What does that mean to you? The wife, when he climbed up, he used one hand to hold up. He used the other hand to draw the husband. If you were to be some wife, when they climb up, they'll be looking for divorce so that they can mingle with senators. They can mingle with house of rep. They can mingle with some business men. They can go to meetings. But the moment the wife climbed the husband up, if there are some meetings that are not important, I can say, honey, you are the one going to that meeting in Kano. I can't go. She will know she's a married woman. I can't go to such meeting. Never. Somebody hold a ladder for you. You climb it up. You look down. You spit on the person. Never. I mean, if you remember the three things I said. One, never you try to erase a man that raised you up. Many men risk their name to give you a new name. When you have the new name, don't erase his name. One, two, never, never, you speak to a man that hold a ladder for you to climb when you get up. Three, never you become a problem. That's why I went to my mother. That's why I said to you before. Never you become a problem to a man that give you emblem. Today, my spiritual mother, Reverend Dr. Mesu Nomano Basu, he gave me an emblem. Never! You destroy a man that gave you platform to reign. He gave you platform to reign. Don't destroy him. The first day for me to preach, I think that should be the biggest church I've ever preached in my life. Ego swings. I mean, if you know ego swing at St. Maragoroti, I did preach there. It was just three meanings. I went there with my mentor, Professor Usman Abib, one of our guest speakers. I saw the hand being I called. I said, Daddy, he said, Yeah, I will be in ego swing tomorrow. It's okay. That was what connects me to some to the mama of ego. I said, Okay. And when I time it around six. My wife was in store. I said, I want to go and meet my prof. I went to the Eagles Wings. I was so timey. I was arriving the gates, entering the compound. I never knew it was the one coming down from the Jeep. Protocol was following him. There would have been a whale I would sit on that altar in Eagles Wings if he has entered before me. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The moment I saw him, I yelled, Ned and Daddy. He said, Donald, how are you? Get up, I'm talking to you. How are you? How is my daughter? This is how we step to the pulpit. We move straight to Mama. That is how I had an opportunity to have a handshake with the Mama. He said, Donald, sit down. I sat with him. That is how I will sit with President soon. If he has entered the church before me, because when I enter inside the church, see crowd. If he, if he has entered the eagle wing before me, I would have sit outside. When he come, I will see. And the mama turned. He said, how are you? Sam fine. said, this is my son. I saw some great men, professor, some men on the altar. As my father was having a handshake with them, I was having a handshake with them. It was a privilege. And I never knew the honor did not end there. As mama stepped on the puppies, 
Say, let's rise on our feet as we honor our prof, our guest speaker, our teacher, the oracle. And as my papa picked the mic, step on the pulpit, greet them all. He said, sit down. Let my son have a word for five minutes with you. I was like somebody in heaven. Donald, come. He gave me mic and he went and sat down. In my life, that is the biggest church I've ever heard mic. I just turned and knelt down because I know that was a privilege. I knelt down. Thank you, Daddy. Just a word for five minutes. So it's a study innovation, honor my father. As I was sitting there, Mama stood up and hugged me. That is the last and first hug I've had with her. What am I trying to say? A man gave me the platform. And you will not tell me to look down on that man or hold him. You will tell me what that man do. You better, there are three persons, don't try to point it then. If I even hear you, you will change church. Professor Usman Abib, Bishop Kinsley Menahiriri, Reverend Dr. Unoma Basuji, and Apostle John Suleiman. Don't, a boy help the church with 100,000. When this thing happened, the boy sent it to my WhatsApp. He helped the church with 100,000. When this thing happened to Suleiman, he sent it to my WhatsApp. He says, sir, can you imagine what is happening between pastor? As I play it and I reply, I said, if not for the love I have for you, I would have blocked you now. You are spreading the negative news of my father. I hate you. My father, the message is still on my phone. How many of you can fight for me like that? You are spreading. If you can send it to me, how many people have you sent it to in your WhatsApp? A bad son spread the bad news of his father. A good son, what does he do? He covered it. You want me to give you scripture? A son saw the nakedness of the father, he began to laugh. Another one came, he broke cloth, he covered it. Instantly, I deleted it. There's one bishop in Abuja now. I vowed not to call him again. It was not quite long I told my wife the reason. When Joshua Igila was having a problem with his wife, and the bishop forwarded it to me on WhatsApp. And he said, can you imagine what, big, what Joshua... And if they divide Joshua Igila into, into 100, this bishop not this one part. Josh, how many of you know Joshua Igila, champion's royal assembly? If they divide him into 100, this bishop not reach one part. He not going to reach now. Joshua Igila had two planes. The cheapest plane is 5.5 billion. This bishop not worth 200 million. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Joshua Gila is one of the pastors in Nigeria. For one of the, he's there among first pastors that bought plane. Then I will not join Suzanne to God's sister's person. Tire of plane, if they, can't, if they combine all my family words, you know, we'll buy tire of plane. You know, tire of plane as small as is it. Go, go it. Plane, huh? Have you, have you know the sea plane? You know the sea tire? That's small tire. Go, go it. If they combine my full family land, car, wet, we know if you buy tire of plane. And somebody have it, you expect me to gossip that person. Praise God. Give me, give me John 8.32. John 8.32. How many of you like me this morning? This is a morning of correction. How many of you love me? The first Sunday of February, you are hearing things that will turn your life. We are taking communion. It doesn't work when you have sin. It doesn't work when you have wrong character. That is why I've corrected it. John 8.32. And ye shall know the truth. <laughs> ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall not make you free. Give me 14 verse 6. John 14 verse 6. Yes, shall not the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Give me John 14 verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth. And the life. No man cometh unto father. But by me. Give me the next verse. He 
if ye had known me. I like this. Ye should have known my father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and I have seen him. Give me verse 17, John 14, 17. John 14, 17. You are going to be very fast because you are going to be giving me many scriptures. John, even the spirit of truth, whom the world, you know that is why I lay hands on you on Friday, so that the spirit of truth will enter you. Two of us. That is the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Is the spirit of what? Truth. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, unbeliever can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Unbeliever can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Even the spirit of truth whom the world when the Bible talks about the world is talking about unbeliever cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you. The Holy Spirit is in you and it shall be in you for truth to give you uncommon miracle. In other words, for essential things for common miracle. For truth, you need to know this money. When you know this for truth, from now life began to change for you. The truth number one, know the value of time. I'm speaking of four truths to change your life. I want a new need to give you a new life. By 2022, you'll be living the life you want. So, are you not tired of living a life you don't want? Is it the life you want? Let's tell ourselves the truth. Is it the life you want? If, the dash, if your father gets on TV cars, you don't know so if you drive, come here. Stand up, let me see. Go stand with that man. In not a person. Never reach to drive motor. Because that man, the driver too. He, the man led the wrist And I made me say, man, go stand here. Come and sit down. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Four truths. Essential commodity for miracle. There are things you just need. Within a year, life will just change. What is the things? Know these four things. Number one. The value of time. The value of time. What is the number one truth? That is why I read all the scripture for you. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Number one truth you need to know as a young boy, young girl. What is that? The value of time. Never from today let every any second waste without giving account of it. Why you are still where you are? 30 years have wasted no account. But all the accounts you have is excuse. 40 years have wasted all the accounts you have is excuse. 20 years, 25 years have wasted all the accounts you have is excuse. Drop excuse now. Tell somebody drop excuse. I didn't hear you. Drop excuse. Now my father utter. Is there no somebody in that your family that have house? How come now lay you the juju call home? Now my father, now my family, now my family juju. Is there no somebody in that family that guy back her? How come now you the family juju call home? Now the witches and witches that went there running going can be. Is there no millionaire in running be? How come now you the call home? Lazy persons. Their major breakfast are excuse. Full with excuse. I've seen a blind man a millionaire. I've seen a cripple becoming a millionaire. I've seen a man no hands, no legs is a millionaire. Have you not seen him preaching the gospel? Have you not seen him in YouTube? Have you not seen him in Facebook? No legs, no hands is a millionaire. And the last of his message I listened to, he was still doing, I love myself the way I am. 
I'm a peculiar generation. I said, yeah, I'm a woman born where you are. You a peculiar generation. But yeah, that man sits with every every president of America visit him. Go and read his history. You know why? He plays value on time. It can all hang to tie your hang you wherever. Never you allowed any one hour to waste. If Osarobo have allowed one hour to wait last year, who would be a married man this year? Stop procrastinating. Place value on time. If there's any reason why I love that, my son, it's after the introduction, they gave him list to calculate money full everywhere, no one error. And I met him in the site, carrying block. And he looked at me. I said, how are you? I was the introduction a few days ago. He said, it was fine. I said, but daddy, I don't know. The money and everything is being. And I asked him, what are you not going to do? He said, I am going to do it. I said, shake me. I said, I went and shipped in so that we got that money. He said, daddy, the date you gave us remained the same. Time! Place value on time. You have so much play with time. At 17, Joseph had his dream. And why yeah, that brother was 14? Yeah, they don't dream. Joseph was the 11th child. Now, if the senior is that we took two years, if Joseph is the level, two years times level, is that not 22? Plus 17, is that about 40? Yeah, they had no dream. Joseph at 17 had the dream. And he's the level child. And I bet you they didn't see know each other with two, two years. Like, like, you know why? Because they are from different mother. So the gap sometimes, some of the gap is up to five years, four years. Polygamous, so true of us. There are some that will be older than you with seven years before Joseph. Because even Joseph was the child of old age. So you can imagine how old Ruben will be. Am I preaching this morning? You can imagine how old Reuben will be. How old Jade, J-A-D-E, will be. How old the remaining, the first five children will be. But what happened to them? They toy with time. They toy with time. One of the most important things to the devil is time. We pay for land December 22. We are you not shocked the next Sunday you saw the plan of the house. Because I know devil value time. If I give specs, we might not even move one block in the next two years. Am I preaching this morning? You were there December 22. Pastor Tony was there. Mr. Monobo was there. We pay for the land. I got home. That's every the, ne the next day you are in my house. You saw the engineer in my house. I just remember the next day you were in my house, you saw the engineer. I paid for the architect, pay everything. And the next Sunday, best year, I told you we are starting now. Because I know devil. If devil know you know the secret of time. Before they take a strategy, you hook them. Somebody shot time. I didn't hear you. You are not talking. You didn't believe me. See the way you say your time because you never still believe. How old are you? They have always. How many land you have? And some children. The last boy I met in Sapler Road recently was just 70 years old. He buy things at 2018. Short time. Let me hear you. Because you have wasted a lot of time. Our mothers waste time. That is why some of us are suffering. What time did they wait? Time to act. They were sleeping. To pray, and I know you guys, you have guys so why and love you, and as then a cook woman, you have a bad you guys, a baby, or I are you, but you give me my back, baby, was been on the room. Am I talking to somebody? Go to a village, people that play with time, they are complaining about that. Oh, give me them as never know. Each way you go, give me you go, they're gonna yajo, and then I join, each way, probably yak back, but some panel and the duny. Oh, they are not holding any more money. 
Egbe na so yan egbe ma i ma so yan to emi ti we wa e. Iwa i ma so yan to that your area Jew there should be some times in a week we are to emi ti we de do. I do emi ti wo. Thank God odu hunje. Okay, I will go show you. You'll be fine today. Maybe I will go show you yours today. Now today you put on. No wonder you cack. There are some time, one o'clock, you come out from your parlor, you stand. Thus says the Lord. Let the big man hear who is talking. Thus says the Lord. I, Jude, take over this environment. They will hear in COVID. Say, who is talking? You stand, you stand on top of that upstairs. That is what I did last time. I do it every time. I don't teach you what I don't do. You can't stay in that house as big as that house. One small boy will make much. You should come down from upstairs. They should be afraid. You know why? Even when you speak, when they, your voice comes with fire. When you are coming down from upstairs, when you are parking, they should, no, don't park there. That is Pastor Jude parking space. Nobody take them. It take power to command respect. Takes power. Nobody say that is Pastor Jude parking space. Why? I stand here. I curse you tonight. They will hear. If your wife come down the next morning, they will be afraid because they don't know the anger why you speak like that. Even the witch will be afraid. Say, what happened? You hear that boy speaking and your wife be that. People, you know why I met my wife in marriage, some marriage, they began to honor my wife. Say, we hear your husband standing in Joshua at one o'clock talking. Mama, many months when given, whether I make it belly come big now, when not get belly, I don't know. They hear. One o'clock, he did for Joshua. We they hear his voice. Those of you that have been with me in city of revolution, you have seen how many oil have poured there. I've been telling the witches and the wizards in that area to know Donald is coming. If I tell you how many bottles of oil have wasted on that land, what am I sending? Donald is coming. Because I don't want to hide, come. I want to come. Let the native doctor in that area know. Donald is coming. Let the witches and wizards in that area know Donald is coming. Time! If I should wait till I get there before I take over there and deal with you before I came in secret. Why? Because I wasted time. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Time! You have wasted enough time. Begin to give yourself excuse. Many pastors waste time. Many workers waste time. And devil value time. If you tell devil, I let him go. What do you say? I let him go. I let him go. I let him go. A woman confess in Uronibe. Away from the day, no reason to the day, no who. We must attend meeting every day. And some of you. Also, man, I come in and get you. You are not really looking for what. And when I got to Benin, I think that should be 2008. I hear the same word. I from the day Nuri Azen. If a child of three years old in Nuri Azen, 90 years. For that 90 years, there's no one there. I make accent. Whoa. Because I met there normally. The moment you sleep, your spirit is gone. I shocked that day. What about you? Even who were in a retreat, who were poor bonnet boy, why did you last week? Last week, last three weeks, did my video or no, mommy? Somebody shot time. Each of them, we are going to you go. As in a cocona, we are going to go. You know, when I'm a big guy, you know, when I'm a teacher, you know, you know, when I'm a big guy, you know, when I'm a big guy, you know, Somebody say time. I'm not feeling that being I speak. The witch that is disturbing on that witch and my mother go the same farm. 
But they come by my mother's tire. But the other which was watching still go back. That is what happened to the two women that were put to bed at the same time. The other one was calculative. Why the other one was sleeping? Why the other one was sleeping? Many of you, I don't I know some foundation are bad. Now lay you bad. Now you can, many of you, if I pray spiritually, ask, what is wrong with Suzanne? The witch went to your family will tell me, say, who is Suzanne? I said, Suzanne, I want to go marry Mr. Jew. He said, leave that one. Now time, worry that one. We don't, we don't even leave that one since five years ago. What do you call the one? Unless it is the warrior. You know what that means? Even the people where they go, they don't even leave you things. But at least they keep you where you are. Okay, okay. Why you get banner? Why what the witch is so? I went in my ass there five years ago. Why you keep it, Susanna? It's a pastor don't know. We have it now. Now, where is Susanna? Why go? You go? You go? You go? My mate, my mate, Toby, and I'll be now. Listen, it's all back me. So many of you, when a summer devil, devil will tell you, God, you know that day when that up where they leave your road. I know if they upper. God, you know. God will say, I know. Who can't do you, Suzanne? A devil. That was say, you didn't lie. No. I know there has that day. Time. A precious material. If I had not printed this thing on the 22, nobody would have donated one bag of smith. If I had not, we would have, we have modded 200 bags of cement. If I have not, one person would have paid for one truck of granite. If I have not, somebody would have told me. If I have not said, I want to start. Time. Most of you are suffering. It's as a result of the value you didn't place on time. Place value on time. Make good use of time. You saw me shouting at Pastor Yostan. You cuss it. You heard Pastor Jude. Service starts 7 30 close, 9 30 or 10 at most. By 10, you begin to look and you forgot 9 30. We are not still up to 10 in the church. Time. 9 30. You forgot. During praises, praises was not up to 15. And you expect donor to close service 10 o'clock. I have started preaching before Papa IT drive enter. What does that tell you? Praises is gone. Testimony is gone. Intercession is gone. Poor administration is gone. You now enter. You expect. You now start looking time. 10 o'clock will take the close. Time. 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 Give me, give me, give me Ephesians 5 verse 16. I told you I'm going to be very fast. Take care of that child. Ephesians 5 verse 16. Time. Time is so important. Ephesians 5 verse 16. Look at it. Look at it. What did you see? What is the meaning of redeem? Buy. Redeem it the time. It means buy time. If it doesn't buy time, another person will buy it. To redeem means what? To buy. To redeem means what? To take hold. Can you give me, can you give me a message translation? Or NLT? Give me other translation. Give me message translation or NLT. To redeem me to take hold. Joseph began to dream and his brothers began to gossip him. Joseph began to dream and his brothers began to gossip. The same time. Look at it. I love the message. What did he say? Make the most of every chance. How many chances have you lost? How many chunks have you lost? How many chunks have you lost? How many opportunities have you lost? Make the most of every chance you get. 
These are desperately times. These are, if we had not go, do you know that where we bought land, December 1.2 now, Jude, you are living weakness now 1.5. Now, the full front, no one is free. Make if to say we have delay, let us begin to pray. If God give us that place, who told you every place in the old world God gave you because it belongs to your father? I hear some pastor. Have you prayed that land is really for church? Something's wrong with you. All land belongs to my father. What makes it not to be really for church? It means a demon take over it. Go and cast them out. Oh, I don't know if I'm talking. Are you sure? Is it not because you are in the wrong place? That, that is why you are, you are in the wrong land. You are in a land that is not fertile. Who owns the full land? Is there any land that belongs to the devil? If we are to still be praying, prayer warriors are still in church. Make the most of every time. Make the most of every time. One of the village that time, many of our friends cry well, well. Then they play with girl, they're not toast the girl. Another person call your stones, give and belly, say, Oh, it was like it was like you know. Have you ever got it? I'm asking that one. Epa, women give me Ghana. Oh, oh, what's you? Where the girl was cool? Well, it made you aware of two friends there. And no matter toast, it's just soon that's a book. I bought now. I'm your own boom before I say that quick so I bought. Okay, we're fast. Make the most of every time. Make the most. Have you had a guest say, yeah, you just, I've heard it, tell with that number. No, 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 man, I'm mostly for school. Me not even know say you like me. And the guy be even like you. Wait, 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 you not turn up. You don't know. You wait, you don't quit turn up. If you say, <laughs> you not even know say Susan like you. To say, you don't quit turn up. Praise God. Make the most of every time. Very important. Go home. Yeah, I was a business now. I was a business now. No, 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 Yeah, I no, 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 Procrastination is the money for a lazy people to buy goods that never brought home. How many of you hear that English? Procrastination is the money that the lazy people use to buy goods that never get home. Yeah, what? That for me, God said, you're going to get a kid. 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 You're going yeah, what do you want some money block you? I cannot do even ten thousand. If you give me ten or you, my pace is too much. Who pay a what do? Yeah, what? That for me, gas is very kere kere. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, what? The Bible is speaking. Make the most. It is what I, Pastor Judy, got the way. Yeah, what? Yeah, all of that they get from me. Nimen, they always use self. To say you just postpone that the person will be not chop one thousand form. No, no, that they was have a camera so now they shop from. Please, also, they put a fine girl for front. So that might be self form. When I don't put that, those my mind, I marry people, I don't put them for front. They may they not go ask me how far, but that one, I say, don't marry. Don't marry. Form money, go, you all go like that. When I they put better, better girl. Better, better girl. I will have a person. When it's Susan, you want me to yake. Yeah, 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 you pay. Yeah, you pay. Praise God. Yeah, you pay. Praise God. Somebody shout time. Give me Colossians 4 verse 5. Colossians 4 verse 5. Colossians 4 verse 5. Time is very important. Time. Colossians 4 verse 5. If you are there, read for me. You don't see media. Not see Colossians 4 verse 5. I like this one, eh? Walk in wisdom towards them that are without this verse 
is one of the verses that gave me strength. Walk in wisdom towards them that are without. Redeem me the time. Give me message. Use wisdom to buy time. That's what he's saying. Use your sense to buy time. Stop wasting it. I love this one. <laughs> it means some people, they use their leg. How <laughs> I many of you see what I'm saying? Some people, they use their leg. Is they use your waiting? Head. Red twins. The men who were car low before today. They know why waiting. Use your head. Before Bible say use your head, it means that some people, they use their nyash. Use your head. Use your head as you live. Oh. That means the dead does not have head. Use your head as you live. Use your head. Touch somebody. Touch your head. Say use your head. No fear. Let me command you. I don't say me touch her. Not the head. Not the head that they touch to. Eh, we boy. Okay. If I had today sitting there, I'll shower here. Touch. Touch. No, now this time you want to touch. <laughs> touch, mama. I say use your head. Eh, you see, touch her. Camera. Mama, I touch her again. Say you. De, you go to tell her to the touch her. Say that, lad. Fast, so I will see my time. You know, I go at 11 o'clock. It's not yet now. We want them to use the head. <laughs> you don't say, Mama Bright, me and you talk on Friday. Tell your husband. <laughs> Oh, come back to my bone and away. Inside this food church, who teaches you want to tell me use the head? Go tell her. Fast, fast. Don't waste my time. Fast. Fast. Talk out with serious. Now you know. If you're not talking with serious, you're going to use the nash. Now you know. No, now three times. You gonna, you know now to take us to small bikini. Is there a blessing? I want to walk out. I want to go on your knee. Tell me, my friend, you have got a door. Add your eh mana mana de reje kin ye ba o ibe de bai eh mama samuel are lare mama samuel are de samuel wa gba kan e mana gba kan ye de de me dem not o ibe de ba e so na ye de o kin ya de church yes sonia Use your head. I am Fast, fast, don't waste my time. Sonia. You don't waste my time, so. Ah, Bobby. Oh, go down. Eh, eh. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mama, what I'm Mama, twist you don't come here. Oh, don't you know you say, oh, I'm holy law. Mama, where's the cataman? Okay. Eh eh. Come. No, scum. We got dog me so you want me low way. On him I tell you may use your head. No say me they use my head. If I know they use my head, I want to know Genesis to Revelation. Because if me tell my wife, me tell me use my head, I will eat panado. You will remember many things. Only use your head. Mama twins. That one dog near hog me so. Come on. Oh, tell me, use your head. Use your head. Go tell Sassy. Say Sassy, use they use. I know you're saying use. Say Sassy, they use your head. Tell her I see you know saying that your leg is fair. They use. Who did they again? Motab, yeah, but I'm huh? Let me talk about Pile at you. EJ, where your husband? 
Unwerere o se no do na re choto but kuhun we. Say use your head. Ye ma me la kuhun we. Eh eh. Te mo yu hu na luba luba. Ye rejoice. Ere ro dog me so bi hie yen lo. Ka bo kuhun we ka bo. Wa pe wa ta blessing aluhun we. Oh eh. Why, who did that again? May use your head to come. Joy, may use your head. When the verse, mother, I say it for Bible. Let me say it for Bible. I say it for Bible. Give me. Use your head as you live and walk among outsiders. What does that mean? Look people. Watch them. Don't miss a trick. The devil, they are full with a trick. That is why I say use your head. The devils are what? Full with tricks. Don't mix a trick. Make the most of every opportunity. May the Lord help you to use your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Make good use of all the times you have. I love this one. Genesis 8 22. Make good use of all the time you have. All the time. Number two. Number two essential commodity you need. Trust. 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 So many of you, you don't trust that God can give you to you. You need to trust God. Second Samuel 22, 29. For thou art my lamb, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. Trust him. Verse 31. Give me Job 13, verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job 13, verse 15. Trust God. Try by all means to trust God. The Lord saved them that trust him. Psalm 7 verse 1. The Lord saved them that trust him. You are praying to the God you don't trust. So many of you, you don't trust your wife, you don't trust your husband, it's not good. If your husband offends you, forgive him. Don't let that one has to do with trust. Am I talking to somebody? Your wife offends you, that is normal, quarrel. Don't let that one has to do with trust. What does our faith has to do with trust? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Because what is killing you is trust. And do you know the danger of it? If people know you don't trust them, they can still trust you. Hello? If people know. Until God knows you trust him, he can't trust you. What does the Bible say? They that put their trust on God, he, they will not be put to shame. In other words, first, God has to know you trust him. Then, he will not trust you not to put you to shame. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. So many of us, we pray without trust. When you are praying to God, pray out of trust. That is why you have not gotten the results you are looking for. Because you are praying without trust. Trust! Psalm 9 verse 10. Verse 10. They that know that God shall put their trust in him. And God shall not forsake them. Psalm 9 verse 10. They that know that God shall put their trust on him. And God will not forsake them. Psalm 9 verse 10. God will not. Trust his servant. Trust his servant. Trust your pastor. The moment you arrive, you relax. You are never sorry. You know this message. I'm not looking for a message. Trust God's servant. You can't trust God without trusting pastor. You can never trust God without trusting pastor. No. Trust the God's servant. You know why you can't relate with your pastor? Because you don't fully trust him when he prays for you, God will answer. Something provoked you about a few weeks ago when somebody sent me a voice because he was angry. 
He said, I'll tell him to send the account number. He's an idiot. When I left, Pastor Kletu said, the way he provoked that your son is as if it's as if you know the person. Because three of us, we are sitting down. When I play, he said, he said that boy is an idiot. That he tell him to send the account number. Me teasing why you're giving me the distance. No, 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 no. If they tell him to send the account number, he's, an, he's a fool. When we left, Pastor Kletu said, that your son doesn't know him. I said, he didn't know him. He said, the way the thing provoked him. How can you be with a pastor you don't trust? Second Chronicle 2020. Thou shalt believe. Give me Second Chronicle 2020. There is a danger not trusting pastor. A great danger. Give me Second Chronicle 2020. Thou shalt believe the Lord thy God. And thou shalt believe thy servant so that you will prosper. Second Chronicle 2020. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, prophet Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O children of Elet, and hear the real members of sufficient loving grace. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe on Donald that you prosper. Believe. I was speaking to a man in London. I said something. I said, he said, sir, since you said it, never, I, I'd never doubt your word. And I don't even think I would doubt your word. I was shocked. If somebody that is okay in London has European passport, you have, you have United States passport, you have two passports, he's telling me I never doubt your word. Even you that do offering with tenor, if I see tenor, you can't you still doubt it. Praise God. If I still can't sell you, you still try to go and think about it. He said it to me when I, I said, sir, hope you understand. He said, I never doubt your word and I don't even think of that in your word. Since you said it, that said to it. I said, wow. What? Immediately, I, I lie not. I don't need that. I say, God, that thing is seeing me that make him believe, Father manifest it in his life. Because to see a member that believe is not common. You can have 1,000 members, but how many believe on you? It's a question. We have almost 150 sitting here now. How many believe on Donald? It's a question. But to see one that say, ah, how dare you talk to my father? It's not common. It's not common. So when I see one, he has not seen me. We only spoke. Okay, he has seen me. I'm always live. I think we, it's not to twice we have called on video call. He had not met me. But he said, since you said it, pastor, that settled it. Believe on your prophet so that you prosper. I was saying, you know why I'm happy? When the God speaks to me, me, myself, I believe. That is why some of the testimony is happening to me and my family. When God said on Friday, after prayer, that I saw promotion, see, go and watch on Friday online, I repeat it again, that the Lord said, promotion had just taken place. I never knew it was my father-in-law. Why? Because when I'm saying it, I believe on myself. So because I believe on myself, it works for me. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Because I believe on myself. So pastor does not believe on themselves. You want to pray for the sick. You don't believe. One of my doctors was sick, plastics, and later when she come back, there was no solution. He called the younger sister. He said, call Pastor Donald. That is not the testimony. He said to me yesterday, they asked her to go and do tests. And he went to the text. He said, you pour here on me. And you said to me, your peace began now. He said, I just brought the text. The doctor said nothing. He said, from that moment, my peace began. He said, my thanksgiving, daddy. I think I'm going to cook for people. Too. If I don't have money, I will borrow. He said, because I work out before coming back to you. 
If I had prayed for that doctor without believing he can heal, it wouldn't take place. It wouldn't take place. And son said to me, I said to him, I said, do this prayer, do it like this. I said, they're going to give you 10 years document. If they don't give you within seven months, I'm not called. He's in voice call. That is why I love some of them. He said, daddy, I'm not happy because I received the documents. I'm happy because you said to me it's 10 years and it was 10 years. You said to me it's 10 years and it was 10 years. Believe. Believe your prophet. That is why the Shonamite woman. Let me tell you, my anointing can bless you if you don't believe on it. The grace of God upon my life can work for you if you don't believe on it. And I want to beg you, just as David Oedipo said, why waste your time if you don't believe on what I do? You know, the first key I preached before was time. It was a waste of time and effort to be under a congregation you never believe. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I've heard this from David Oedipo time without number. He said, there are God everywhere. You are here six months, one year, two years, nothing has happened to you. You know I'm not your prophet. Don't waste your time again. Why wasting your time? Sitting without belief. It is belief that makes you bring money out. If you don't believe, you say, Ni do tome. Imam we hak bayo. Two bag of smith. Ema yo tome. Ala ye batalo. It takes belief. So many of you are struggling to pay for the two bag because of belief. That that being said, if I struggle to build church, I will not struggle to build my own. That is just belief why some are ready to do it. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. He said, since I'm struggling to pay the levy to build church, I'm not going to struggle to build my own. That is a belief. I, I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. That is just a belief. Trust yourself. Let me tell you one danger of not believing on a pastor. When you enter into that office with me, if I tell you advice, you say yes, me and you enter covenant. I will go home and go and be praying for what I tell you and yet you are doing another thing. I don't know if you understand. I say, Baba, you are with me now. You are with me Okay, pastor. I think any of you that have been with me, I will not hold your hand. What does that mean? Agreement. On what we discuss. I don't know if I'm talking. On what we discuss. What do we do? We will not put it in God's hands. The Bible said, you know by what I hear you say. Now, me and you say, go to worry. And you say you are going to worry. We conclude. God, your son is going to worry. Let that blessing locate him. And he gets home. His wife tell her, say, not to worry. Go to Abiy Okuta. And when we get home, I began to work on our covenant. Let worry bless Papa. Papa will do what? Let worry bless Papa will do what? Is that not my prayer? What is Papa will do what prayer? Let Abiy Okuta bless me. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Disagreement. And guess what? God will be laughing at both of us. Am I talking to somebody? God will be laughing at both of us. And whenever God laughs at us, devil make use of us. Anytime God ignores us, devil make use of us. Nobody is free. Believe on the prophet. A woman so much believe on a prophet. A prophet gave him a son, the son of my woman. After giving him a son, because he believed when the son died, he still carried the son to the prophet's bed. That is belief. And he said, husband, bring your car. Tell your driver to carry me. Where are you going to? Pastor Donald has, is something wrong with you? The doctor said he's dead. Don't put him in mortuary. Go and put him in Pastor Donald's room. Am I talking to somebody? When I came to your house, I slept in your coach. There are some certain beliefs you will have. The misery of that thing will be like a film. Adeboyo went to a crusade in Texas in America. While they were preparing, they brought him with this executive box. 
They brought it. There was a woman with an issue that was having menses for nine years. It didn't stop. And Adeboye was inside the executive box, relaxing, waiting to be called upon to preach in Texas. The white woman watched. There are security everywhere, protocol everywhere. He can't touch Adeboye. The woman sat down, and the boss was there. The woman was calculating. Not quite long. Let's welcome Papa, Daddy Gio, to bless us with the word of God. The, he moved close. The woman was not after touching at the boy. He was not after a dead boy praying for him. As a dead boy was coming down from the bus, as protocol tried to back him, before they could slide the door of the bus, the woman jumped inside the bus. He sat down where a dead boy sat down. She was dead and they dragged her out. Before a dead boy could reach her and take Mike, they started hearing shouts. My blood has dried. My blood has dried. My blood. I, Papa have not started preaching. And he said, what is happening? And people that saw it. It's in God. It's in YouTube. It's in the redeemed testimony. Go to the redeemed testimony block. Now he has menstruation. Because he sat down. And they asked the woman, what motivated you? He said, I never needed the papa to pray for me. He said, why? He said, because the woman said he want to touch the cloth of Jesus. So, and I said, if I sit where he sat, my blood will dry. Believe. Just a simple on his servant. Believe. A marriage of 12 years barrenness came to Shiloh. He said, there is no way. David Oyedikpa will pray for me. No way. He went to the usher. I've been to Shiloh. I've been to Kenaland. He went to the usher. He said, which side do Papa normally pass when he's coming to Shiloh Hall? And the usher said, why? He said, I just want to know. He said, the wisdom gate. He said, Are you not seeing that duplex? He said, that is Papa's office. The moment he come down, he take the wisdom gate. The woman went and sat by the wisdom gate door waiting for Papa to pass by. The woman was not waiting for Papa to pray for her. Papa passed by the wisdom gate. The woman didn't touch Papa. He didn't touch. As Papa take a step where he put his legs and moved, the woman took the sand. I tie it in cellophane. Say, so when I got home, I brought a cup out. I put water. I poured the sound. And I said to God, This is the feet of your servant. I said, Take the feet of your servant. Let it become a baby. He drank the sand. And daughter told us, Son tongue to appendix, but son tongue to baby boy. The next Shiloh. He came with the boy. Even Papa himself stood up. What was his belief? The feet of God's servant. The feet of God's servant. Believe. Believe. On God. Believe on his servant. Believe on his servant. It works for you. I'm sorry time is gone. The number three. Nothing works like belief. Belief can make healing take place from television if you believe on a park store. My wife was there. I've not started ministry then. I was still a pastor under my spiritual mother. I was selling Apostle Joseph Suleiman message every time. I was selling whenever he's prophesying, I will stand. I began to watch. I began, I will be selling, selling, selling. If I didn't make money. If I didn't sell anything the day, the morning, the evening, even with Ted Josh until tomorrow, they almost know me. They were taking up an Omega fire. When I began to study, when I began to sell that CD, still go to my shop, still see hip of his message DVD. When I began to sell it, the times of prophetic, I began to concentrate on it. I began to concentrate on it. I began to watch it when I want to start ministry. 
March, I went to Omega. I never knew it was ministry. It was that time, source of prophets. That's when he's, he anointed spiritual sons. I never knew it was that program. As I want to start ministry, my ministry is to start March 30th. You know, March, March 25th, 26th, I was in Omega. I came 26th. The program was Friday. I did attend the Friday in Aonshi. What would, did I do? As I went there, I left one of my daughter's room, blessing, in 2018. I began to watch, and he was praying for sons and daughters. I never knew it was on Friday. He normally blessed sons and daughters. And I have to leave on Thursday because my inauguration was on Friday, March 30th. I went to where they are selling oil. I bought a big bottle of oil. As the on Thursday evening of it, Papa, before Papa, they could share grace, I came out from the hall. I stood. When you go to Omega Fire, there is, he's passing by. The moment he's about to pass by, you see protocol for the both sides. You can't even reach him. Except he just decide to touch you while he's passing by. As I came out from the hall, I saw some pastor kneeling down. I knew there is something going on. I went close to them, hold the oil bottle in my hand. I kneeled down with pastor. As he was coming back, just coming out, he was just touching with his leg. I gave me the oil. He just lay hands on the oil. The, 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 the protocol is as long as Bigs. He said, almost from here to not to Joshua, from the hall, we had to where he parked. People knelt down, both the sick guys, how they are just coming out from the hall, going to the hall. So there are police everywhere. That is how he's just touching. He does stand. If not, the crowd there, they would scramble on him. That is how he's just touching. And I stretched my oil, because I was already leaning down at the back. People are already at the front. Stretched my oil, and I had an opportunity to lay hands on the oil. And I left. I took the oil to Bini. That same night, I was in a revelation. I saw it in a far distance. Apostle John Suleiman walking towards me, holding that same bottle of oil, pouring it on my head. As he was pouring it on my head, and he went back, he said, See me. Yes, daddy. I woke up. Body was shivering and began to cry. That was the grace I needed. That was the anointing I needed. For one year, I couldn't see him because it was not easy. You can't see him. The other year was the opportunity that I had. How? I was praying and fasting. I was sitting like this. Apostle and Papa Deboye walked towards me. Papa turned to me and said, Give me your hand. I gave him my hand. He poured an oil. He said, put it on your tongue. I put it on my tongue. He said, from today, you will see wonders. You will do wonders. Right from that day, enter church. I go, your guest. I don't know. I don't even hear yourself. Go, you come to pass. Believe. He said, believe. Until I had an opportunity to not see my father one on one. And I said to him, you said to me, see me. He laughed. He said, that was God. He said, because you believe on the grace. He laid hands on me. The other year. Believe on the prophet. It works. The woman ran back to Elijah. He said, long live. After 70 years, the woman said, loud down. Don't let the number of years you spend in LA Determine me reduce your respect for Donald. Yes, it has nothing to do with respect. The woman met Elijah, and Elijah gave him a son. After 17 years, the relationship was still there. And what shocked me when I read that place, the Bible says in that first king, as the horses packed, the woman ran down. He said, Long live, my Lord. He said, The protocol, protocol started. From the Old Testament. The Bible said the protocol had her. And why they had her. She keeps shouting. I want to see Donald. And the Bible said. Elijah had. He said leave her alone. And he said he went to Elijah. He lied down on Elijah's feet. After 17 years. 
He still they lie down on Elisha feet. After 17 years, I think you might have seen both good or bad about him. Can you still lie down on my feet? After 17 years as a member, can I still shout? You will shock. After 17 years, the woman laughed down and said, My Lord! And Elisha said, Peace be unto you. What is it? Said the song you gave to me. How many of you will know it was Donald that pray with you that makes that thing happen? When you need it, it's important. When you got it, you say, It is not my God. But after 17 years, the woman said to Elijah, The song you gave to me. When you forget where you are coming from, it will slow down your movement to your future. Did I just say something? When you forget where you are coming from, it will slow down your movement to your future. Because where you are coming from is the basics of where you are going to. When you remember, this man was fast with me. That when I got this testimony, the woman said, the baby you gave to me, I never needed a baby, I'm already old. But you said to me, now we have baby. You gave me baby. And he said, where is the baby now? He said, he's in your bed. Can my chest be in your house when you build two places in Abuja? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I will hear somebody preaching. He said, in my two places for years, my spiritual father room is there. Sometimes, three, four days, my wife will remove the bread, spread, wash it, and spread it. He said, whenever he come in town, he decided to sleep in my house. His room. Say for almost seven years. Susan, when you build your duplex, I came down. I slept in your room. Can you keep that room for me? For years. Say, that room belongs to my father. When my son is sick, I want to put him in the bed. My father lie down when he come. I'm sorry to say this because of public. Those rich men, there are some spiritual things they value. When I heard the story, I was shocked. Okay, you heard that story, I was shocked. The last they said the hotel is he went, he called the owner, not even the manager. He said the room papa at the boy slept. I hope I know he's going to book out tomorrow morning. Nobody should, don't change the best bread. Nobody as rich as then no, don't change the best bread. Nobody should lay on it until I laid on that best spread. Because these are spiritual men. They know what it takes. And the Bible says, as early as that morning, convoy is rose dress. It's already. And he met with that boy they talk. He went straight to the room and lie down. As David Oyediko arrived, Basin it down and look at David Oyediko. He said, what will I do for you? He said, meet me in my hotel room. As David Oedipo entered the downside hotel room, he said, lie on my bed. Lie on my bed. I slept in his bed. He lied on the bed. As he stood up, he said, go to my bedroom. And bed in the same bedroom. Today, he took that anointing by lying on the downside bed. Believe on the prophet. For 70 years! That is what shocked me in that woman. The room of Elijah was still there. The bed of Elijah was still there. If my mama twins for 70 years, how many churches you for don't visit? How many pastors you go don't call daddy? For 10 years, how many pastors you don't call daddy? But this woman for 70 years, the room was still for him. Do you want to tell me Elijah and that woman did not quarrel? They quarrel. They had misunderstanding. But that does not have to do with the brain that if I don't offend you as a son for one year, two years, three years, you are a bad child. Because a good child, I love a father. Say, my daddy never ever called me. Daddy, you're not coming since now. I'm not happy. If, I, if you are with me a year, two years, three years, I don't offend you, you are not a good member. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. It's a simple truth. You are not a good, it means you are pretending. You are pretending. Because there are some times I will shout at you. You go vex. But I will ask you. Mother, why are you angry? No, daddy. Why are you not worried? I live for that moment. Did I not offend you? 
But if you say, since I've been following Donald, he has never offended me once, I'll run away from you. I will run away from you because you are looking for a strategy to bring me down. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. For 17 years, Elijah and the woman quarreled. But yet, Elijah's room was not temper. And a relationship matters. Imagine when Abba Suleiman came to Benin. He said, there are some of my sons on their birthday and I called them. He said, some will be angry that I didn't call them. He said, there were three disciples. There were two. There were three. There were five. There were twelve. There were forty. There were seventy. There were one twenty. There were four twenty. Or ten, he had seven twenty. In, in relationship, there is stage. Don't, he said, in relationship, for years that I put Papa uh, Adeboye has been his father. This is the first time he's visiting his church. For years, he, he has sowed a seed of millions. Millions. This is the first time Adeboye is visiting Aushi. He has been his son for over six, seven years. He paid tithes of millions. Hundreds of millions. Two hundred millions. This is the, if not you. I said, then I can't even drive to my house. You don't value me. This is the first time Adeboye is stepping to our The first time. Don't be too familiar with anointing. Don't be too familiar with what? Anointing. Are you not shocked? He told us that the first day he, he, he paid a tithe of 100 million. He said he was, when he was coming back from Lagos, he said 100 million. Say, but the other day when he took a tithe of 300 million, he didn't even see it as anything. But yet, for years, he said, sometimes six months, I won't talk to him. I won't have opportunity. He was talking about sonship honor. He said, sometimes for months, I sent tithe. I can't even talk to him on phone. The first time. And you know, he's even giving him hours. He's not even sleeping now, she. Oh, I don't know if I'm talking to someone. He's not even sleeping and she, helicopter is landing him there. He finished preaching. We see entire helicopter go back. And Papa was saying, when he gave me that day, I was happy. For years, for you to agree to come. For you to agree as big as Suleiman for Papa to agree to even give him one day. He was happy. He was Happy. I will continue from your rise on your feet. How many of you are blessed this morning? Lift up your right hands. As many that believe on me, that grace upon my life rest upon you. As many that believe on the word of God you have heard, whatsoever have wasted your time before, may God punish them. From today, redeem your time. That your wasted time in business. That you're wasting time in job. That you're wasting time in marriage, no child. I pray for you. Redeem your time. 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 Hear the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. While you are standing, join me to pray for this, my son. I was thinking he would not be around. Please, Papa, please come. I want to pray for you. I had a revelation about you. And you are still wearing this shirt. You've got to be careful this week about blackmail and that will result to a fight. About blackmail. Stretch your hands towards him. Every blackmailer, accident, take God to cancel it. Take God to cancel it. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. They will not blackmail you to your helper. Issue that does not concern you, you will not, it will not make you fight and get blood. Matter that does not concern you. As I pour you this anointing, that plan is dissolved. In the mighty name of Jesus, that plan is dissolved. In the mighty name of Jesus, that plan is dissolved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I know whenever you reveal to me, you want to serve. This is a son that is close to me. That which you show me, Lord, I beg, may you divert it. 
Davat that you show me. Davat that you showed me. Let the devil be put to shame. Let the devil be put to shame. These hands will be far from accident. Matter that does not concern you will not cause you blood. In the name of God, the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Father, you say in your word, we should continue to do this till you come back again. Where is Oshan? Pastor, please come. Get me the book. You said we should continue to do this until you come back again. And today you are the truth. This is your body. This is your blood. Are you watching us online? Get a glass of water. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. I have prayed on somebody on your phone in spell. The phone fell and scattered. He got deliverance. In Italy, in Germany, so there will be deliverance through phone. There will be healings through phone. There is a young boy that was having this problem in Italy, just through phone. I prayed for a young guy that was having a blood issue. They fixed blood for her, and it was menstruating blood. And I said to her, in three days, we dried up. He videoed it to me from the hospital. And he did it, that video is seen on my phone. Right from the moment I prayed for her in that hospital in Italy, the blood began to dry. This third, the next blood they fixed on that child, they did not finish it. The blood six. The other month you see our menstruation normal. That's same power is staying in the house. That's same power. He was on hospital wearing pad and they were facing blood for her. He video it. And I was touched. And I said, in three days' time, this blood will cease. In the second day, it will cease. The third day, he was discharged. The same God that do that. Get a glass of water, add a little salt to it. Speak on it. Tell this is communion. As we take communion here, that becomes your communion. The blood of Jesus clings to you. The body of Jesus becomes your body. The body of Jesus knew no sickness. Your body will not know sickness. The body of Jesus knew no weakness. Your body will know no weakness. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you are watching from, get down, get down, get down. A glass of water, drop a little salt. Father, that glass of water they are holding, I consecrate it. The Bible says, he called those things, though they were not. This moment, I call that glass of water your blood. I call that salt your body. As your children, take it, let healing speak. Let grace speak. And let favor speak. Father, this is the body you break for us. As I break this now, Lord, let affliction be broken. And let pains be broken. In the name of God, the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Lord, this is your blood. As I take this, Lord, let every other blood that is not normal in my body flush out. And let your healing take place. As many that will take it, Lord, total healing. Fruit, I see twins. This communion will breed twins again and again. Again and again. Again and again. Again and again. By the reason of this communion, womb is open. In Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Usher, direct. Where is Usher, direct? And look, collect another bowl. Let pastors attend to the children because of time. Amen, amen. Bring this thing out. There are still much in the office. Thank glory. Oh, shall we start writing? When you take your communion, begin to speak to it. There's power of communion. God bless you. Open it for me. Yes, Pastor Jim. Please come and help me to open it. Oh, Pastor Tony, any of you be opening it for me. Be opening the cup for me. Have I given you? Be resting this one, let arrange it so that Pastor Tony will attend to, to the children. Sorry. Be praying. 
If you've taken it, be praying. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. We thanks and give Shutterba. <laughs> He great the naked the little bit of bush taking it back. Red the naked the naked the naked the naked the bush kalada. Naked the naked the little the little naked the bush kalada. Lead the naked the naked the little bush de 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 de. He get the little the little naked the little bush de 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 de. We sing the little. What a mighty God we serve our Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore you. Ages by before me. What a mighty God we serve. We are serving God. God, God, we say hey, sorry, le sorry, yeah, heaven and earth adore he just bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. It has before What a mighty God we serve. Father, let every blood that causes sickness flush out. Amen. And let the blood of Jesus stain in your body. From today, your body will know no sickness. Amen. Men will favor you. Amen. Angels will favor you. Amen. You carry the body of Jesus. You carry the blood of Jesus. Heaven go with you. God bless you. God bless you. The name of God the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let's welcome Pastor Jude as he took over from here. Take over from here. Hallelujah. Church, hallelujah. Amen. Have you been blessed today? Have you been blessed today? Amen. All right, let's, uh, let's be on our feet. And then let's thank the Lord for his word. 
If you know how to speak in tongues, just go ahead and begin to speak in tongues. Begin to worship the Lord. Begin to appreciate Him. Open your mouth. Begin to speak in tongues. We've been, we've been impacted with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is in us. The gift of tongues is part of our heritage. So just go ahead, church. Be bold about it. Begin to speak in tongues. Begin to speak in unknown tongues. You are speaking with the tongues of the angels. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. We thank you for your awesome world. We pray, you, oh Lord, that your world will bear fruit in our lives. That the purpose of your world, which we have heard this morning, will materialize. Oh Lord, we are not forgetful hearers. Oh Lord, we are not like those who look in the mirror and forget themselves. The word which we hear, oh Lord, let it bear fruit in our lives. Let it bear fruit in our families. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. All right, just quickly put your hands in your pocket. Let's honor the Lord with our offerings. Okay. Tight All right, if you have your, uh, your tight card, amen. Uh, just slip in your, your tight into your card and then come forward with the card. Our Father, we thank you. We act in obedience to your word. Your word says, bring into my, into my house one tent and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and bless you. Therefore, Lord, in obedience to your word, we have come to honor your name. May the blessing that goes with tithes come 100% to everyone standing before you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive our tithes in Jesus' mighty name. Accounts. Amen. Some are transferring. Hallelujah. For those uh, uh, not present who wants, who wishes to pay their tithe, please, uh, on the screen will be uh, account details, the church account details. You can forward your tithe there. It will be on the screen in, uh, in a short while. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's be on our feet quickly. Let the choir give us a beautiful song as we, as we give our offering. Amen. Oh, your man, oh, your man, that's the God we serve. Oh, you cool, oh, you cool, that's the God you are. Oh, your man, oh, your man, that's the God we serve. Oh, you cool, oh, you cool, that is God you are. Oh, your man, oh, your man. God you are. Oh, yeah, ma, oh, yeah, ma, that is God we serve. Oh, you cool, oh, you cool, that is God you are. Oh, yeah, 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 oh,
us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Lord, we have given you our offering. May you open the windows of heaven and pour us a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who don't have to give, oh God, next week, oh God, they will give in thousands in the mighty name of Jesus. But at this week, oh God, may you use this offering to open doors for all financial doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Accept our offering for in Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you are joining us for the first time, if this is your first time uh, in the church, Elect Chapel International, please, I want you to just wave your hands wherever you are. Amen. If this is your first time joining us, we love you wherever you are. Just wave your hands. Okay, there's a little girl right there. All right, can you stand up, please? Let's see you. Let's know you. Amen. Please come, come forward. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. Church, please, next time, it was only our papa here that, that shook her hand. Next time, let's try to express love. Amen. This is a newcomer. There's something about first impression. Though she's a little girl, amen, it will take nothing. Let's go around and, and, and shake them and welcome them. What's your name? Treasure. Treasure. Who invited you? My daddy. You are blessed. Please just stretch your hands and let's uh, pray for her. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We thank you for your daughter, treasure. We pray you, Lord, even as you have directed her feet here, may your purpose be established in her life. And by reason of her coming, Lord, may your blessing extend to every member of our family. Be the provider and the support. Be the pillar, the anchor. By reason of your love for this little girl, let grace be made manifest in her entire house in the name of Jesus. We cause the spirit of sickness. We cause the spirit of setback. It shall not find its way into the house and the household of treasure in Jesus' mighty name. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go and sit down, please. Amen. Today was an awesome day. It was, I don't know if any of us enjoyed the message, but I particularly did. Amen. It was a message full of power. A message full of wisdom. Amen. And I want to encourage you again for some of us who do not write down things. Matter of fact, if you have your pen and your paper, just lift it up and indicate. Just wave it around. Amen. If you have a pen and a paper with you, if you know you wrote down something when the pastor was, was teaching, just indicate. Wow, very few of us, amen, very few of us, it's not very nice, praise the Lord, because when he teaches, if he should appear before God today, let me just quickly say this, I'm just going to take two minutes, because to me, I, I see it as something very important, amen, if he should, after every, every message, you see how he sweats, amen, when I, was, when I was privileged to, to, uh, to take a message here, at the end of the day, I knew I know the tiredness that I felt. After every message, he sweats. He's tired. If he should come before God today, he has done his work. Our own work is to do what? To hear him. Amen. Because that is exactly how you build yourself. People can be in the church for years and there are no results. You will just still be there. Nothing to show for. It's because of the word of God which you have not put value upon. Amen. So I want to encourage you, give heed to the word of God. Go back home, go to uh, the YouTube channel, open it, go through the message. As a matter of fact, today, Today will not roll by for me. Amen. Today will not roll by for me until 
I have gone through this message again. Amen? Until what? I have gone through this message again. In other words, before tomorrow, if it is the YouTube channel, if it is what I have written down, I am going to go back and then go through everything. Because in his message is so much wisdom. The kind of wisdom you don't get common. The Bible says in the days of Jesus, people press forward. They were pushing themselves. They were jostling themselves to do what? Not to get money from him. Just to hear his word. Amen. Because it is that word that will change your life. It is that word that will turn things around. So I'm encouraging us, please, get a pen, get a notebook. Amen. Get a pen, get a notebook, write scriptures down. Hallelujah. If you will do that next week, let me see your hands. As you do that, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, every Sunday, 7.30, we gather here. Service starts 7.30. Please do well to come early. And on Wednesday, 5.30 uh, 5 p.m., we have our Bible study. And then on Fridays, our prayer meetings, 7 a.m. Amen. Please invite people when you're coming. Hallelujah. Uh, look around you quickly. Just look around you. Uh, if there is anyone who is not present here, take notes and then see how you can, you can reach out to that one. Amen. If you just look around, you will notice what, a couple of persons that are not present here. Amen. Please take notes. If you remember them, if you have their number, uh, put a call across to them. Invite them. For example, Brother Odua and his wife, amen, they are not here. I, I think he's, I've not seen them for a while. So if you have their number, please put a call across to them. Show some love. Amen. They are, we, are, we are a family. Hallelujah. We are a family in Christ and love must spring forth. Amen. Please, uh, our building cards, if you are having it, today is, uh, what's today's date? Sixth. Sixth. Amen. 20th is fast approaching. Let me help you, sir. Get interest for that one. Praise God. You will continue from that. I am one of the love. Give me book fast.